Hey everyone, this is a first look at the GarageBand for iPad and iOS, I guess. Uh, strings, smart strings. Uh, literally, this is the first time I've played this, so we'll see what happens here. This is the, uh, oops, this is the um, smart string section. You get cinematic, modern, pop, romantic. So we'll start with the cinematics, that's the first one here. Pretty easy. Um, we'll say we got first violins. You could take those off, I guess. Leave the bass, cello, and violas. Add the second violins, first violins back in. Take up the bass and cellos. Um, so that's pretty cool for some normal stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Moderns. Pop. Well, they sound kind of the same, so I guess that's for the autoplay thing here. Go in here. You can take out the different instruments. That's different patterns. So yeah, I guess we could add pretty, pretty quickly. Let's try the modern patches. Pretty quickly add different string sections to your songs. So just make a string section up. Try romantic here. Adding in the different instruments. Different patterns. Um, this is on the iPad, the original iPad too, so it works on the original iPad. So let's go to notes. We go to notes. This thing over here for, hmm, I guess that's for blowing the strings. Change the instrument up here. Violas. So that's cool. And then we also got, um, I guess they have the, the key signatures. Or rather the scale, there it is, scale. So 
major, major pentatonic in here. Check out the cinematic ones. So I guess those are the same. So the chords. If you turn the auto play off, you just get. So yeah, that's the smart strings. Uh, quick look at them. And uh, pretty cool.